Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I am rebuilding my RO system. I'm actually going to add an RO membrane to my current system and I decided why not show you guys the whole process start to finish of how to build your RO system. All right, let's get right into it guys. First, we're going to take our Aquatech 8800 boost pump here and we're going to mount that. And I like to kind of start with my pump and then work downstream from that. So I'm going to make sure and link all these components, every part, all the stuff I'm using, I'll have it linked down in the description so you guys can look at it yourselves as well. So we're just going to mount this down here. Got a couple screws. into my RO membranes, my filter, my pump. So that's already on there. I've been using this system, like I said, this is more of an upgrade. Now we got our Aquatech pump fastened down. We're gonna fasten down the power supply as well. And I have made just a few brackets here. I actually took um, banding material from work and just kind of bend it up. I put a hole in it, I drilled a hole. And I kind of actually clipped the end so you didn't cut yourself or anything. I just bent it up a little bit. Um, you can, you know, use whatever backing board you want. A piece of OSB is fine. I had a piece of uh, um, 2x12 laying around. It's just what I used. So we're going to go ahead and fasten down our power supply. Okay, now we have our filter. This is just a free filter here. Um, I'm gonna unscrew the cap on it. So we've got our bracket here that just fits our cap. And I'm gonna bolt the bracket down to the board and then I'll bolt the cap to the bracket. Take our bracket, get our cap, and put these together. I just like to screw the outer filter housing on so when I am mounting everything else I can kind of see what I've got space for other things for. All right, now we got our pressure gauge here and this is just a press lock fitting here. I have a small piece of tubing and then a T and this is gonna get mounted to our board and our filter is gonna go in one end of this, just like that. And then it comes out and into our RO membrane. We're gonna nail this, uh, we're gonna nail this pressure switch down here real quick. So again, I just have a small bracket I've made out of banding material, nothing fancy. Now we're gonna hook up the RO membrane. 
Speaking from experience, you wanna make sure that you can get to this cap because you are gonna to have to replace the RO membrane every once in a while, so you wanna be able to get to it. You don't want your cap hanging in the way of where you're mounting your actual uh, RO membrane housing. And we just have a couple strap brackets here for this as well. And I'm gonna scoot this over just a fuzz because we have our second membrane as well. take the second RO membrane housing and we're going to mount this just like we did the first. we're going to mount our pressure switch here and I just put this off to the side over in this area we got to make sure that our wiring gets back to our pump so we should probably put it right about there So now we're just gonna run our wire behind the uh, RO membranes here real quick. And we plug our pump in, and then we plug our power supply in as well. Those are just some real simple clips. Clip, clip, and I just tuck these up out of the way, try to make sure nothing happens to them. Now we just need to do a little bit of plumbing here. We're gonna be all finished. We got our pump here coming into our pre-filter. These press lock fittings here are so awesome. They're so easy. If you need to shorten anything up, you just you know, take your hose or tubing and cut it a little bit. Open them right up, take them right on and off. No tools needed, it takes seconds. It's so awesome. So, all right, we're coming out of our pre-filter into our pressure gauge here. All right, so out of our pressure gauge, we're going to go into the top of our RO membrane. Plug that guy in. And 
and then out of the top uh, port of our RO membrane, it goes back into the other top of the second RO membrane. And then on the bottom, I just got a T here. So it goes in from the, this is the permeate port. And again, over here on the permeate port, the T, I'm just gonna just um, purify the water at that point. And this goes into our pressure switch. Now, this, now this for educational purposes, this here is gonna go to our permeate tank. And this here, coming out of our second RO membrane is going to go into our concentrate tank. And this is how you regulate the pressure between your permeate and your concentrate. There's a needle valve and I just have it hooked up. I stick this in my tank. So to regulate your permeate and your concentrate, you want about a 50-50 split between them. So you want about the same amount of water coming out of your permeate you do out of your concentrate. And you can regulate the flow with this needle valve. Very simple system to build. I would highly recommend building a system like this, similar, similar to this. I don't care if you do it exactly the same way. You want to put your spin on it. You can add some more RO membranes. You want 10 pre-filters, you can have it. But I would definitely recommend running an RO system if you're gonna do any amount of maple syrup making this year. I've got plenty of videos, guys. I'm gonna link them. I'll put them on here. I've got playlists of just maple syrup videos where I run this whole system. I explain the whole system while it's running. Hands down, one of the best investments I have ever made in our whole maple syrup process is my RO system. This saves you fuel. This saves you time, countless and countless and countless hours of time. I cannot stress that enough. Highly recommend it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. If you guys got any questions, throw them down below. I'm pretty quick on answering. I know we're coming right up on maple syrup season here real quick, and you guys have lots of questions. You guys want to get your RO systems built? Now's the time because parts are going to start running out and you don't want to be left in the dust without having your brand new RO system. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.